OMG. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm coming at you with a bonus video this week. I have not been doing a lot of cleaning. And uh, to be honest, we power washed our front porch. I haven't even cleaned the furniture, as you can see on the front porch. It is very dirty. So I've been so spending so much time working outside, trying to get my backyard cleaned up, getting my front yard looking beautiful. And um, I need to get a little bit of cleaning done. So I thought I would film this video and it's just gonna be a bonus video. So I hope it inspires you to get maybe some cleaning done that you've been putting off. Uh, we are in August now and I haven't cleaned the dang furniture on my front porch yet. I could power wash this, but I just didn't want to. I thought, let me just clean this by hand. I know they're super dirty. And that bench is a little bit fragile that I did not want to take the power washer to it. So like I said, we did power wash the front porch. It looks beautiful, but it's been, I don't know, maybe two months now. It really doesn't need to be power washed, but it has accumulated dirt. We actually use the front porch often. Uh, we've been sitting on those dirty chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get the porch all swept up and then clean all of the um, front porch furniture. If you're new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down in the comment section. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back to another video. So of course, with it being summertime, there's just lots of bugs. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm sweeping up where the porch meets the brick, uh, spider webs, you know, all of those fun things. So I'm gonna get all that off uh, and just make it look a little bit better. This area was a little bit wet. I don't, it might have rained last night. Anyways, it's gross. Uh, so I'm just going to clean this up with a paper towel. And there's going to be lots of nature in this video. It's mainly focused outdoors, even though I am doing cleaning. Uh, I'm just enjoying spending my time outdoors. It's me, Clarky. Hi. Hi, Clarky. <laughs> Hi, Clarky. He knew something was happening outside, but he couldn't figure out what. Isn't that disgusting? But he's so dang cute. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should leave this guy alone. Because I don't really care for spiders. Can you see him? Can you see him in there? Yeah, he's right in there. Ugh, big old webs. These webs don't have... Ugh, let me get the ones down without the spiders. Good grief, what in the world is that? I don't know what that is. I don't want to get too close. Is that, that's not a grasshopper, is it? It's not a praying mantis, is it? I don't know what it is. I'm not a bug person. <laughs> Spider in that one and a spider in that one. And that green guy hanging out. I ugh, maybe I should have got the power washer out. Hopefully there's nothing in this one. I don't see anything in this big one. I don't even want to go over there. Ugh. Maybe I can get this bottom one. Green guy, don't jump on me, please. Don't like spiders. I don't like them, but I try to leave them alone because they do eat lots of other bugs. So I totally get their benefit. I did leave that guy alone. Uh, well, there was actually two of them, but they're the big spiders, which I really, really don't like the big spiders. Anyways, uh, that's my little bug story. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like bugs. I'm not alone. But like I said, Spiders are very beneficial. They eat a lot of other bugs. So I try to leave them be as long as they're not in my house. 
All right, so I'm almost done with the front porch. I'm just going to sweep this stuff up so I can throw it away. I just don't, I don't see the benefit of sweeping these big piles of dirt into my um, mulch. The little teeny bit left, I'll sweep into the mulch. But the big piles, I'm going to actually just throw away. Can you hear my blue jays? They want to eat the suet, but they don't like it when I'm right by the porch. Oh crap, here comes the rain. Ugh. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to move this. Rain. And as fast as the rain came, it left. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to move everything back onto the porch to clean it. Uh, so anyways, I'm still in the driveway and we're going to finish cleaning up all of the furniture out here. And I'm just using Dawn Power Wash. It's one of my favorite cleaners and uh, just getting all of the dirt off here. And I'm going to show you my birds soon. I got some, I think they are chickadees. They will come around even when I'm close. The Blue Jays, mm, they're a little bit more shy and they're very noisy, but I love them. They are absolutely gorgeous birds. I told you guys, I don't know, quite a few weeks ago that I always used to think it was weird, you know, when I was like 20. My dad and my stepmom were obsessed with birds and I would buy them all kinds of presents for Christmas like binoculars and bird books and all of those things. And now here I am obsessed with birds. <laughs> I got woodpeckers. I have cardinals. I have blue jays, chickadees that come and eat my suet. Look at, there's a little chickadee. Hi, you little cutie. I'm not going to bother you. Hmm? All right, little blue jays. Oh, there goes one. There we go. I'm not moving. There you go. And more. Nope. Oh, sorry. I will get six blue jays at once that come and eat the suet. And they're just so gosh darn beautiful. I love them. So maybe this year I'll ask my kids for some bird books <laughs> and binoculars so I can learn more about the birds and watch them. Look at how dirty. Oh, this furniture is so dirty. Now my bench over there that I definitely did not want to power wash that. Um, that bench was from my grandmother. She didn't give it to me. Uh, she passed away and the family asked me if I wanted the bench that she had on her front porch. And of course I said yes, because it was very, very close with my grandmother. She hand painted this bench, all the stenciling and everything. It really needs to be repainted. I just haven't been able to bring myself to repaint it yet. Um, so I'm just going to clean it up as best as I can. Maybe next summer I will repaint it. Um, but I try to baby this a little bit because it's very old and um, it was hers and I love it. I'm just taking my hose and just washing off. Make sure I don't have any soap left on here. And I'll just let these dry in the sun for a little bit. And they look so much better, the hubs, when he came home. He had went out to sit on the porch. He often sits on the porch. I think he watches the birds, too. And um, he was like, oh, you cleaned up all the furniture. It looks so nice. So it definitely needed to be done. I meant to do it in the spring, and I just didn't get to it. Uh, here's the water from me cleaning it. You can see how dirty it was. This is just from 
those few pieces of furniture. So this bonus video here is being filmed real time. Like this all happened this week, I think on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, and so next week's video, it might not make a little sense if I forget to mention, because I had already filmed that video. So I'm gonna show you some things in this video that have changed, but then you're gonna see them in next week's video if that makes any sense. Uh, but Viviana is at um, band camp this week. She is in color guard. So it's just me and Donna Jean home during the day. And um, so we're gonna go to lunch. I just wanted to get all this stuff cleaned up and then I'm gonna take Donna Jean out to lunch. And a few weeks ago in the backyard, I had seen my first butterfly of the year, except for I think it really kind of was a moth, but I'm just pretending it was a butterfly. But Donna Jean and I were pulling out of the driveway. I didn't even notice it. Donna Jean noticed it. I stopped the car and got out. Oh my goodness. I told you this is gonna be filled with nature. Can you see how big? I don't know if you can see how big this butterfly is. Wow. You are gorgeous. Yes, you are. Wowzers. Oh, another one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh, what are we doing over here? Donna Jean and I went to lunch. We just got back. We've been gone like an hour and a half and he's still here. Oh my goodness. And it's so big and beautiful. I don't see the other one. There was two of them. Ugh, so cool, so cool. Well, one of my lilies opened up. I think that guy's gonna open up soon. Oh, look at how pretty it is. And look at, look at, look at, oh. Oh, so there's two buds and you can see some flower peeking through. It's gonna open soon. My very first ever dahlia. I am so darn excited. So I'm trying to find out from Donna Jean what happened to my poor Dahlia here that is all bent. This is all bent. And then she tells me, what did you tell me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was uh. oh uh, I was playing with my volleyball and it hit that one and the whole flower thing came off. <laughs> And dad was out here and I said, what do I do? And he said, hide it. So I put it in that one because it blended in. <laughs> he said, what do I do? Mom's going to get mad. <laughs> she popped a whole flower off the zinnia. Well, but it's the, still good. Well, yes, they, they continue to grow more flowers. This, I don't know what we're going to do about this, Donna Jean. I don't think I did that. Well, somebody broke my dahlia. I don't think I hit that one. <sighs> That one looks good, though. Yes, that one looks... They all look good, except for this poor guy now. Is it supposed to grow flowers? Well, yes, it's going to grow flowers just like you see over there. Oh. I don't know now that you broke it. I didn't break it. Donna Jane! Okay, so that's what I was talking about. Uh, we're going to be washing... I haven't washed the window sills. Oh, look at Clarkie and the window. So we're doing that outside, too. Or the window tracking, I should say. Um... Anyways, that's what I was talking about. Next week's video, you're going to see my Dahlia where I discovered I had a, a bud. Um, and just within a few days, it's already opened up. Uh, look at Donna Jean and her dad practicing some volleyball. Anyways, uh, that butterfly also showed up the next day in the backyard. Hubs Googled it. It's called a giant swallow tail butterfly. I've never seen such a huge butterfly in my life. It was gorgeous. All right, I'm cleaning the windows, but I'm also going to go over it with a ultra fine microfiber cloth. I watch Midwest Magic Cleaning. Do you guys follow him? Uh, he does a lot of um, like free cleaning on hoarder houses. And not that I'm specifically super into that type of content. I mean, I like it. I just love his personality. And he owns a cleaning company 
Anyways, he has talked about ultra fine microfiber cloths and how they are amazing for once you clean something, going over it with that and uh, it leaves no streaks. It did a fantastic job. I was not aware that there was different types of microfiber cloths. So uh, super happy that he talked about them and the benefits of them. I don't believe that you use them for cleaning. You use them for finishing and you can use them on more than just windows. So anyways, look at this. It looks so much better. The window looks so much better. I have 19 windows in my house, 19. I haven't cleaned the tracking or the actual windows themselves on any of them yet this year. <laughs> so we're going to do the three in front of my house. I know the reflection's bad. Hello. <laughs> I was trying to show you how dirty the outside of the windows looked. I'm not sure if you can see. I think maybe you can, um, but because of the reflection, maybe you can't. Anyways. <laughs> Well, Windex is for the windows. This is for the window tracking. Oh, I could probably stand on this. This is an ultra fine microfiber cloth. Go over it with this for no streaks. Oh, that looks nice. Cubs was out playing with Donna Jean, and they were just getting ready to go in and. So he offered to do the tops of the windows for me because he knows I would struggle to reach them, although I probably could have just stood on the bench like he's doing, but that was very kind of him. So I would love to hear what's happening in your world. Feel free to share anything, any projects you're working on. Um, I've even had some of you guys share, uh, you know, that you're planning your wedding, that you just got engaged. Like, whatever you would like to share with me, feel free to share it with me. I always get so excited just to hear what's going on in your life. These windows were very dirty. <laughs> I'm so glad I am getting out here today and doing them. And of course, we got Mr. Clark watching away at the window. So I think next year, I'm probably going to do some things a little bit different. I did start some spring cleaning pretty early this year, I think in March. Um, but I, I'm in Michigan. And we do not get warm weather for very long at all. And I just want to be outside when it's warm. And I have been loving so much working in my yard. And so I'm not going to be doing any spring cleaning next year, probably when it comes to like April, May, those times. No, I'm going to be outside because I'm going to have lots of projects to do next year outside as well. So I maybe I'll start my dang spring cleaning in the winter <laughs> when I can't be outside. Oh, hi, Thomas. Hi, Tom. Hi, Thomas. What are you doing? Want to look outside? I'll put the screens back in soon and you can look outside all you would like. How's that? How's that, Thomas? Can the people even see you? Yeah, kinda. There's Clarky. There's Thomas. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Hi, Clarky. There they are, my two boys. I just love them. Uh, so, anyways, super happy to be getting this cleaned because um, they definitely need it. Last year they were really bad. I had not cleaned them in quite some time. They haven't gotten quite that bad in a, in about a year since I've cleaned them. Uh, but we're just going to give them a quick wipe down and get them clean. And I don't know what, there was just caked on dirt up here on this window. I don't know what it is from, but we're going to get it clean. So like I said, I have 19 windows in my house. 
I'm going to get three done. So <laughs> at least I can cross three off of my list. And I should say I'm getting the outside of three of them done. I didn't even get to the inside of them. But that's really the easy part. The hard part is getting the outside because sometimes they're harder to reach and the window tracking is always just kind of a pain to clean. But the way I look at it is three is better than none. So I'll take it. Progress, not perfection. And you already know where most of my focus has gone, which is to my backyard and getting that cleaned up. So these were really, really dirty. They do not look perfect, but they look way, way better. Hubs took the screens for me. I took the, all the screens off. Hubs took them and just sprayed them off with the hose. The windows themselves oh, look so much better. That micro fine or ultra fine microfiber cloth really works. Look at Hubs waving. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so goofy. I'm like, hey, are you going inside? Go to the window so I can hand you the window. I didn't even notice him waving until I was editing this. He cracked me up. Hand you the screen, not the window. They were still wet, so I'm just gonna take some paper towel and just dry them off a little bit so we can get them hung back up and open the window so my little Thomas can look outside like he likes to do. More nature's gonna be coming in a minute. Um, I went over and was babysitting the kids and a super cute thing happened that I thought I would share with you. It's kind of like an outside cleaning video and a little bit of vlogging of Donna Jean and I's day. So here's the water from the window tracking. It wasn't as dirty as the furniture water was, but it was dirty and those window trackings needed to be cleaned. And it is evening and I was heading inside and I noticed ugh, there's a lot of bug stuff up here on this light. So <laughs> since I cleaned the front porch, let me just remove this so it'll look a lot better. Just a normal day babysitting at Grayson's. <laughs> she has such a huge yard. She has deer and uh, fox, uh, geese, oh my. Hello, hello beauties, where are you going? <laughs> what do they say? The geese say honk, honk, honk. <laughs> they're so funny. Look at them all, where are they going? Oh, they're going up to the neighbor's <laughs> yard. Ooh, ooh, honk, honk. <laughs> what you doing, Mr. Violet? What you doing? Be gentle to Clark. Hi. Hi. EJ loved seeing the geese. All right, we're going to finish out this video with some power washing because I did the side of the shed a few weeks ago. I haven't done the back of the shed, which actually faces um you, that's like the first thing you see when you pull in my driveway is the back of the shed and look at how dirty it is up on my siding uh there's donna jane hijacking well, get my up phone top first. get up top first you want all the dirt to drop down uh-oh is it spraying you yeah. stand back a little do you want me to do the top oh yeah. lord i asked her if she wanted to come out and power wash she said what are you power washing? I said, the shed. She said, yes, because she knew how dirty it was. And notice she went right for the, the very dirty part because that's what she wants to clean is the very dirty part. <laughs> I was like, no, you got to get the top first. She's filming this, so the camera's a little bit shaky. I was trying to get all this dirt off here up on the siding. And it was working kind of, but not great because I'm just way too short. I need to get a ladder out to be able to get this. So I kind of gave up because I couldn't reach it and it was spraying back at me a ton. So I'm just going to focus on the shed. The front of the shed also does need to be power washed, but I just posted the video this week. If you saw it, I posted it on Tuesday where I decluttered the shed. Oh my gosh, it was so bad inside. Um, and there's just holes at the bottom towards the front of the shed. So I don't want to do any more damage than has already been done to the floor inside. Um, so I'm not gonna power wash the very front of the shed until I get that floor fixed. 
But like I said, this is, you see this right when you pull in my driveway. So it'll just look so much better to get this cleaned off. And you already know, I love power washing. It's like my happy place. I just love it. I'm far enough down that Donna Jean has now taken over. She wants to clean the very, very dirty parts because she loves doing cleaning like this. That is very satisfying. And the power washer, oh boy, it is. It's just so dang satisfying to use, to watch. It really is low maintenance. Uh, it does sometimes get a little dirty if you get some splashback. I had a little bit of dirt on my face from splashback. Um, but uh, I just absolutely love a power washing. So we're going to do this shed and then we're going to do just a couple more things while I got the power washer out. So I hope you're enjoying this bonus video. If you are, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. I'll be posting another video, of course, on Tuesday, my normal day to post. Um, I've got some gardening I'm going to be doing and some yard cleanup, of course, like I normally do. But I thought I would just bring you a little bit of actual cleaning um, as the bonus video. As many things as I have power washed so far, with this being my very first year of having a power washer, um, this shed, the very bottom row, that was the only thing I couldn't get all the way clean. I am going to have to use a cleaner on the bottom row to loosen up some of that dirt. She got all the way down to that last row and she was like, I'm done. <laughs> so anyways, she's went in to shower and I'm going to finish up this very bottom area of the shed. So nice of her to help me out. She's always my big helper. So like I said, while I have the power washer out, um, I didn't, I cleaned the porch off yesterday, but I didn't do anything with this and I was like, well, I'll wait and just do the power washer. I've seen people use the power washer on rugs before. And then this is an outdoor pillow that I have on my bench under my um, living room window. And this was super dirty, which I could just wipe that off. But what the heck? I got the power washer out. So I might as well put it to use and uh, just clean these things off real quick. I'll see how I like using the power washer on a rug. And it actually did a really nice job of getting the dirt off. So for outdoor rugs, I'm, I may use this method again. And I don't know why I keep doing these things in the evening. You know, I got lots of things going on. I'm busy during the day. Donna Jean and I went over. Uh, I got to babysit my grandbabies today. And Donna Jean got to play with her niece and nephew. So anyways, it's like 7 o'clock at night. <sighs> the mosquitoes are always out at night. And normally they don't bother me that much. My poor girls, all of them, get terrible big swollen um, areas when they get bit by mosquitoes. I hardly ever get mosquito bites. They were bothering me tonight. I got to start doing this stuff earlier <laughs> in the day. Uh, the power washer was working fantastic on this pillow as well. It got dropped in the dirt and so it was just all dirty. And I was having a little trouble with the power washer. Like it didn't seem like it wanted to move the hose any longer um which I really wanted to do a little bit more but I couldn't get it further it was stuck on something in the backyard that I didn't notice uh but anyways here I am my car's in the driveway it's very dirty why is it very dirty because I have an irrational fear of going to the car wash I don't know why I hate the car wash it scares me to death <laughs> share with me a fear you have that you know is kind of silly and most people don't have it um but for whatever reason it just bothers you and I know the car wash bothers me and so I was like let me use the power washer on my car and I'll get it cleaned off a little bit since I very rarely go to the car wash. And then I couldn't get the power washer to move. So I moved my car up a little bit so I could get more of the dirt off. And it did a pretty dang good job. And now I'm like, great, I don't ever have to go to the car wash again. And that makes me super duper happy. 
Ah, thank you so, so much for spending some time with me on this Friday with this bonus video or whatever day you end up watching this. I appreciate you so much. And again, I hope it inspired you to tackle something in your house um, that maybe you've been putting off or that you know you just need to tackle. Um, and that's it. I'm going to see you again on Tuesday my normal scheduled day. And let's just take a look real quick at the shed. It looks so much better. So now when you pull in the driveway, you're not gonna see it covered in dirt like it was before. And I'm so happy with everything that I was able to accomplish in these couple of days during the week. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night. I'm gonna see you again on Tuesday. Bye!